Hello everyone and welcome back to Thankful Thriftiness. Today we're going to be canning peaches. My husband and I moved into this house almost exactly a year ago and right when we moved in the peach tree was ripe and ready to harvest and we really enjoyed a lot of fresh peaches. <laughs> However, this year we were actually out of town for a lot of the peach season which, I mean, it's kind of crazy that we even get peaches in Michigan. Let's put it that way. But my husband really, really loves peaches canned in a very light syrup, just enough to give it a little bit of sweetness and preserve that wonderful, fresh peach flavor. Our sweet neighbor helped us harvest while we were away. We also harvested some right before we left town and then I ripened them on the counter. So now we've got I think I measured around five pounds of peaches ready to can today. Unfortunately, we would have about double this if we hadn't lost our best peach tree branch. It was loaded with fruit and we were worried about it snapping. And sure enough, we lost all of it. We're just thankful to have what we do. I'm super curious to see how much this will yield in regards to um, pints of canned peaches. We'll see, I really don't know. I did a lot of research ahead of time to see how I wanted to can these peaches, and I decided to do it in a water bath canner because peaches have a high enough acidity to where it is safe. Although I think we're still gonna add some lemon juice. Um, one of the recipes I saw said it was optional. I thought it, it'd be a good idea because these are a little bit overripe and they lose their acidity as they are ripening. So this morning I started out by prepping all the equipment, everything we needed just to make this process as easy as possible. I loaded all the clean jars into my water bath canner and covered them with water. Currently they are coming up to temperature and are going to be sterilizing on my stove, which is why I'm talking fast because the canner gets really loud. But I'll sterilize those for about 10 minutes. And then I also filled a little saucepan with all the lids and the rings and covered them in water. And I will sterilize those just before we can the peaches as well. I also filled a large pot with water with the intention of using them to help me peel the peaches, but I'll get to that in a minute. Then I loaded all the peaches into my sink and covered them in water and let them soak for a good long time. They were pretty dirty and with canning you want things to be just as clean as possible. I rinsed off the peaches and then I spent some time quartering them, taking out some of the somewhat nastier parts where the pit was. Thankfully our peaches pit very easily, but I still wanted to just get rid of the icky stuff. I also removed any bruised or bug-eaten areas because you really do want to can with the best peaches possible. As I was going along with this, I started to notice that the skins were slipping off very easily by themselves. I was planning to bring that pot of water to a boil, dunk these peaches that had been cleaned and quartered into the water for about two minutes, and then in batches, load them into a bowl of ice water, and then the skins were just supposed to slip off very easily, which is what I highly recommend doing if your peaches don't kind of peel themselves. But these, I guess, were so ripe that the skins slipped right off, which I have no issue with. And I was able to peel them and save myself some dishes later on. And it also saved me a few extra steps, which I really appreciate. So now that we have our peaches prepared, I have here next to me in this pot, 12 cups of water. So the ratio for light syrup is six cups of water to two cups of sugar. I am not entirely certain how much I will need in the end. I'm really bad at guessing that, but I figured it's better to have more than less. So I feel like 12 cups of water should be good for about this amount of peaches. So I'm just gonna set the peaches aside because we don't need those right now. Okay, well I guess there was a hole in the sugar bag. <laughs> so, because I doubled the amount of water uh, used for syrup, I'm going to add uh, four cups of granulated sugar. The recipe I was looking at said you could use brown sugar or white sugar. To be honest, for canning, I just use white sugar. I don't know, maybe I should use brown sugar. 
It's more expensive though. <laughs> Question of the day. You gotta let me know in the comments below. Do you pronounce the word syrup, A, the proper way, which is syrup, or B, the way my adorable husband and his family pronounce it, which is syrup? And does anyone know, is that more of a southern thing? And I just realized I literally have no clue how many scoops I just added. I think I added three. So I'm gonna add one more. I'm not on Food Network. This is why I should not record and cook at the same time. I think that's good. And if it's a little bit less or a little bit more, no one will care because we're adding the acid. We will be safe either way. And my hubby has a sweet tooth, so he won't be mad if it's a little extra sweet. Here I have lemon juice. So now there are two ways that you can can peaches. Raw pack or hot pack. I am going with the hot pack method, which means I'm going to cook the peaches for a little bit in this syrup. Or you could do the raw pack, which is where you basically just prep your peaches, put them in the jars, and pour the hot syrup over the top of them. The reason I am using the hot pack method versus the raw is for a couple reasons. One is if you're doing the raw pack, really want to add the lemon juice to help uh, prevent discoloration, which obviously I'm adding anyways. But the main reason is that when you cook the peaches a bit in the syrup, it helps release some of the air from the peaches because peaches contain a lot of air and it will help them settle better in the jar versus float to the top. Here we go. I'm going to add a quarter cup. And then another quarter cup because we doubled the syrup recipe. I'm going to now take this syrup to the stove. I'm debating, I'm always so bad with timing with canning. Um, at least I'm learning. It takes a while for my canner to come to a boil and I need the jars to sterilize for 10 minutes before we use them. So I think I'm gonna wait until the water in the canner is at a simmer and then bring this to a boil. And then I'm going to add the peaches and simmer those for a few minutes as well before packing the salt into hot jars. And don't forget to sterilize your rings and your lids as well. While the canning jars, lids, and rings were sterilizing, I brought the peach syrup to a boil. As soon as the syrup reached a boil, I added in the peaches very gently. Although if you're not ready yet to begin cooking the peaches, you can leave the syrup on a simmer until it's time. After adding the peaches, I allowed the mixture to reach a boil once again and boil for three minutes. Then I removed all the sterilized jars from the canner. Packed the peaches and syrup into the jars. wiped off the rims of the jars, added the lids, and then screwed on the rings. I then placed the jars back in the canner and processed them for 20 minutes. If I had been canning quarts, I would have processed them for 25. Now make sure that you only begin the timer once your canner reaches a boil. After the processing time was complete, I turned off the canner and allowed it to sit for five minutes. I heard somewhere that this can help them release less of the juice once they're out of the canner, so I thought it can't hurt anything. I don't think so, I'll give it a try. After the five minutes were up, I removed the jars and now we have five jars of lovely peaches. Definitely less than I thought we would get, but that's okay. It's a lesson learned for next year. Next year, we will probably be extra careful that we don't leave town when the peaches are ripe and we'll probably purchase some extra ones. And if we get a branch that is too overloaded with fruit, we'll remove some of the fruit versus lose the branch. I gotta say though, having great neighbors is one of the biggest blessings ever. We asked them to water our garden for us while we were away. And in return, we said you can pick any peaches you like and enjoy them however you like, they're yours. Whatever becomes right while we're gone, take it. They took some and enjoyed eating some. And then they made peach jam and gave us half of it. I'm like, that's not even fair, but it's so sweet. So my point being, we also have some peach 
jam in the freezer, which we are super excited to eat as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope you can get your hands on some lovely peaches this time of year, no matter where you live. Because yes, you can grow peaches in Michigan, although it's not easy. And I'm super thankful that when we got here, they already had a tree planted, although my husband is gonna try to use some of the pits from peaches to grow trees in the future. We'll see how it goes. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!